A warm welcome to Archiversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to show you few basic calculations which we repeatedly use in capital structure theories or in the calculation of a capital structure and calculating of a value of the firm or calculating a overall cost of capital of the firm. So these basic uh, calculations will uh, help you understand the concepts with ease and uh, get familiar with the calculations. Now I will show you how to calculate these uh, basic equations with the help of an example. Here is an example using which you need to calculate market value of equity, total value of the firm, earnings per share, overall cost of a capital and uh, using the overall cost of a capital recalculate the value of the firm. So the values given are operating uh, profit, then uh, your debt, cost of debt, then uh, equity capitalization rate or cost of equity and number of shares. So first to calculate the market value of equity, we call this as a S that is a market value of equity. This equals to earnings available to common shareholders upon cost of equity or equity capitalization rate. Then your ESCS earnings available to common shareholders. This equals to earnings before interest and tax or also called as operating profit minus interest. So here our operating income is 3 lakhs and interest amount is 14% of 5 lakhs. So that is, uh, we'll take a working note here. 5 lakhs is the debt and on this 14% 0 0.14. So this equals to 70,000. So your interest amount is 70,000. So earnings available to common shareholders is 2 lakhs 30,000. Then uh, your value of equity that is market value of equity equals to ESCS that is 2 lakhs 30,000 upon equity capitalization rate 18 percent so 0 0.18 so this equals to 2 lakhs 30,000 upon 0 0.18 so this is uh, 12 lakhs 77,778 we'll take this as a 12 lakhs 77,000 778 is the value of equity then total value of the firm so total value of the firm which we indicate as uh, v this equals to d plus s that is the value of our debt plus value of our equity here market value of a debt is not given so we consider the book value of the debt so this is 5 lakhs plus 12 lakhs 77,778 so this comes to 17,77,778 then earnings per share so earnings per share we call as EPS earnings per share this equals to earnings available to common stockholders or shareholders upon number of common shares so this equals to 2,30,000 is the amount available to common shareholders upon number of shares that is currently the firm has a 10,000 shares upon 10,000 so this equals to rupees 23 so four zeros and the four zeros 23 so earnings per share is 23 then overall cost of a capital your overall cost of capital KO this equals to cost of debt times value of debt upon value of the firm plus cost of equity times value of equity upon value of firm so this equals to cost of debt is 14 percent so 0.14 times value of a debt is 5 lakhs upon value of the firm 17 lakhs 77 thousand 778 plus cost of equity that is equity capitalization rate 18 percent plus value of equity is 12 lakhs 77,778 upon value of firm that is 17 lakhs 77,778 so this uh, gives you 5 lakhs upon 17 lakhs 77,778 so 0 0.28 so 0, 0 0.14 times 0 0.28 plus 0 
times 0 0.72 so one if you have a one value it is easy to get the second value so that is 1 minus 0 0.28 so this is equal to 0 0.72 now your uh, overall cost of capital is 0 0.14 times 0 0.28 plus 0 0.18 times 0 0.72 so 16.88 that is your overall cost of a capital this equals to 0 0.16 8.8 or 16.88 percent and the final one is using the overall cost of a capital calculate value of the firm so to get a value of a firm value of firm you have two equations one is uh, market value of a debt plus market value of equity alternatively EBIT upon capitalization rate that is overall cost of capital so here your EBIT is 3 lakhs operating profit or EBIT is uh, 3 lakhs this upon your capitalization rate that is 16.88 uh, percent so 0 0.1688 so this equals to 3 lakhs upon 0.1688 17 lakhs 77,251 17 you find a slight variation here here this is a uh, 17 lakhs 77,778 but here 251 this is because of rounding of your uh, decimal values here we rounded it to 0.28 and we rounded it to 0.72 and here also we rounded this to 16.88 percent because of a rounding of you got this uh, slight variation otherwise if you consider uh, complete decimal values then your value of the firm uh, whatever you get using the this equation and this equation remains the same so these are the some uh, basic uh, calculations which we frequently use in capital structure uh, theories thank you thank you for watching the lecture